All right, so let's take a look uh, at reference in uh, closer detail here. So reference, short for ref, returns different things for different resources. And you'll need to look up each resource in the AWS docs to figure out what it's returning, whether it's an ARN or resource name or a physical ID. Uh, and so here's an example, uh, and we have a parameter for address uh, VPC, and then we are accessing it down below. Um, and so this example is actually for parameter, it's not for resource. So for this one, it's very straightforward for parameters, but resources is a totally different thing. But I want you to know that if there's something you can't get with a reference, then it's a good chance that you can get it with a get attribute. So let's go take a look at get attribute now. So here we're taking a look at get attribute, and this allows you to access many different variables on a resource. Um, and you know, sometimes there's lots, sometimes there's very few. Uh, but you'll, again, have to check the AWS docs to see what's available per resource. So here in our example, we have a security group at the top. And then down below, you can see we are referencing that resource with get attribute. And then we're getting the group ID. Um, but yeah, that is get attribute. But let's uh, hop over to the docs and take a look. All right, so here I am on the AWS resource and property types reference. And this is going to help us uh, see what, what we can return with reference or get attribute. Uh, so let's take a look at um, EC2. Um, that's always a good one to, to compare here. Uh, so I'll open that new tab and maybe we'll look at DynamoDB. So to figure out what they return, um, and there's a lot of options for EC2, so we'll go EC2 instance. And for DynamoDB, we'll go DynamoDB table. But there's a lot of stuff here which tells you um, how to work with EC2 instance, but we just care about uh, reference. And the fastest way to find it is go to get a trib because reference is right above it. And we will go over here and do the same thing. Oops, we'll type in get a trib. Um, and so there it is. So here for EC2, uh, when you pass the logical ID of the resource intrinsic function, so this returns the ID. So that's what it returns, okay? Uh, and then for DynamoDB, if you go over here, um, it's going to return the resource name. So there's a bit of difference there, but like it's confusing because sometimes with some resources, the ref will actually return the ARN, but in the case for DynamoDB, it doesn't return the ARN. You got to use get a trib to get it. Uh, and then with EC2 instance, um, these are the get a tribs that you have with it. So that's pretty much what you have access to. Um, and, you know, just be aware of that and just realize that there isn't consistency across the board here. And you'll have to do a bit of digging to figure it out every single time.